right there. How's it going, guys? Token vaping. So today's juice review is another soda flavor in a line that should be starting to get a lot more popular. A lot more people are starting to see them, this name. They are attached to a great company to begin with that I've been doing reviews for as well. So without further ado, let's jump into this. We'll get into the vape, the flavor profile, and the vapor production, and then I'll give you a little bit more information on the line and the company. So the line specifically is Soda Freak, and the flavor we're doing today is called Detonate. And as you can tell, the labels for these flavors are pretty much just all color, color matched like this, and they have that neon style glow to it. So it just keeps it simplistic, but still something that kind of pops and catches the eye. So if you've been following my videos at all, then you know the very first flavor of this line that I did was called the original, which is just the basic uh, lemon-lime style soda flavor. And the reason why I did that one first is because that is the base flavor that most of these ones all work off of. Uh, basically, they take that base and then they just add something a little different for each flavor. For this one, it's that lemon-lime base, but then it has a bit of uh, tropical fruit to it so that it gets much more of a citrus type pop to it. So we're gonna dive into this flavor and then I'll let you know what I think about it, whether or not it matches what it should, and then uh, give you a bit more of the, the information behind the scenes. So as you can tell, this is a 60 mil, uh, 60 mil uh, chubby style Gorilla bottle, which does have the standard stout security lock ring, so it can't be tampered with. And if it is, then you know about it. So we're gonna pop that open here. As always, it's going on fresh cotton that I set up for you guys, as you can see right there, which doesn't wanna focus for some reason. There it is. Boom. Fluffy and white. And as always, the cotton that I use, by choice, Texas Stuff Cotton. Works really well for me. I've been using it basically for the entire length of my reviews. Um, just quick and easy to use. Has little to no breaking time, so you get a lot of flavor right off the bat. So that's always nice. So we're going to go ahead and pop this open. And definitely has a very strong citrus-style odor to it. You can, you can almost kind of smell the carbonation effect to it. Now, I know that sounds kind of weird since you can't really make carbonated vape flavors because that would just be odd and probably have a lot of throat burn to it. Um, but whenever you smell a soda, if you know what I'm talking about, the bubbles and the carbonation has a, a kind of a weird effect on the odor kind of because you, you start smelling that. And that's kind of the smell that I have with this, which is kind of cool in a way. Um, just because it adds, it adds a little bit more authenticity to the fact that it's supposed to be a soda style flavor. It basically has a more on point or authenticated type smell to it as if you're actually smelling soda, whether it's in a can or a glass or something like that. Once the carbonation starts, uh, fizzing up and, and things like that. So go ahead and get the pre-burn going on this just to get the juice flowing a, a slight bit. And then I'll touch it off with a little bit here, and then we will get to vaping. So I'm um, curious to see if it's going to have an actual citrus type kick to it, or if it's basically just going to kind of be stuck in that, that lemon lime style flavor. So this is popping at 75 watts. If I can get that to want to, there it goes. I don't know why I did that. 75, and this is detonate from the Soda Freak line. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do a quick re-drip re on this and solely just to get one or two more vapes out of this because as always with fresh cotton, sometimes you might get too much of a flavor and it hasn't had a chance to smooth out yet or you don't get enough flavor because it hasn't had a chance to smooth out yet. So this is mainly just to ensure that whatever I'm tasting is what it's supposed to be at that point so that I'm not misinforming anybody about what type of what type of flavor profile this is actually hitting on. So just bear with me here a second. Okay. 
So now I will I will tell everybody up front, this line is very heavy on the VG. Most of these, I'm pretty sure all of them, except one, I'd have to double check which one, but all of them pretty much are a 90-10. So you're getting a really thick, heavy VG uh, vape. And the main reason for that is because one, it's a soda flavor. So the flavor is going to be really light to begin with, but this is to ensure that you don't get any type of a throat hit. Um, there's nothing on the throat. You don't feel a tickle. You don't feel a hit. Um, the cloud cloud production because of that is very dense and very solid as you've seen while I was taking my, my vapes off of it. The downside to that is because it is a lighter flavor with a thicker VG, it does mute the flavor a slight bit. Um, the original flavor definitely had more of that lemon lime feel to it, that citrusy zest, so to speak. Um, this one, you don't taste that as much. It does have a little bit of a fruitier kick to it, which I believe is obviously the, the, the citrus fruit that's added to it, um, the tropical fruit that's supposed to kind of give it a little bit of a different zing to it. Um, but it is a very mellow flavor. It is not super strong like citrus flavors are. If you vaped any that were like a lemon or had a lime in them um, that were more supposed to be like the fruit, then you know what I'm talking about. It, it definitely has a, a, a little bit of a throat kick to it because of the citrus aspect. Not so with this, but again, that's because of the heavier VG. Um, so I just, I, I want to inform everybody beforehand to understand that because it is a 90-10, it's going to have a very denser vape to it, but because the flavors are lighter to begin with, it does uh, mellow them out a slight bit more than say like a, a 75, 25 or an 80, 20 would do. Um, but their, their main goal is to make it smooth so that you can vape this all day without vaping out on the flavor too quickly, but also so that there's no type of a throat hit so that you feel that smoothness to that. Plus it also gives you denser clouds as well. So there are pros and cons either way, depending on how you go with the, with the mix ratio. Um, but this seems to have worked better in this, in this aspect for most vapors in general. But as always, I do want to try to be you know, upfront with with all aspects of that. Now, flavor wise, though, it's it does have a very nice mellow uh, fruit style flavor to it, still in the vein of the soda flavor, because the exhale of it still kind of tastes like if you're drinking soda out of a can. That little, I don't want to say metallic taste, but that little tinge that you get on the back end of your throat as you're swallowing, it kind of feels that in here, which I like because it gives you that again it leads to that authenticity of trying to be a soda flavor but i know that might not be for everybody so again just wanted to let you know up front but if you are interested in trying out this line if you are looking for soda flavors that aren't super harsh that aren't more of a throat hit than flavor or anything like that definitely check out soda freak um, they are made and available on the eliquidmaster.com website. This is a line that eliquidmaster also makes so that the quality they put into their line, you know is going to be put into this line as well. But you can check them out at that website. Um, they do have their own Instagram page though, Soda Freak Eliquids. Um, definitely check them out as well. Facebook, uh, you can access them there. You can email them, you can contact them directly. Like I said, the label is pretty simplistic. It has the, the line name, the flavor, it says the 18 are over the nicotine these this is available in a zero three and a six these are 60 mil unicorn style chubby gorilla bottles and it does have the standard warning and ingredient labeling on the back as well so you can definitely check all of that out at eliquidmaster.com as always guys i'm token vaping i'm here on youtube facebook instagram snapchat and pinterest anything that i can do in in any way shape or form to help further enhance your vaping experience to make it more enjoyable for you it's the only reason why i choose to do this so reach out to me if you choose let me know if there's anything I can do to help a particular video that you'd like to see done. I'll do everything in my power to make that happen. I can't thank everybody enough for all the, the love and support that I've received for all the people that watch my videos and click that red subscribe button. It means everything to me. So thank you so much for that. Until next time, always truly love yourself. Vape on, vape strong. Have a good one, guys.